Hello students myself Neha Parekh we are going to discuss gothic architecture under history of architecture 3 RAR 407 this is week 10 part 1 in this video i am going to discuss about the most famous five cathedrals of gothic period Notre Dame Cathedral Paris Florence Cathedral Italy Duomo di Milano Milan Amiens Cathedral France Cologne Cathedral Germany all these cathedrals are designated UNESCO World Heritage site and all these cathedrals have all the basic characteristics of gothic architecture that's the reason i have selected them Notre Dame Paris is so beautiful and marvelous that people started calling it Our Lady of Paris. It is a perfect example of French Gothic architecture built between 1163 AD to 1345 AD. The cathedral has gone under several damages due to uh, its uh, French Revolution and World War II. The The cathedral has a choir, transept, nave and aisles on both the sides. On the western facade there are two massive gothic towers which are divided into three floors having a heavy gothic carving doors. At the cathedral's east end the apse has a large clear story window and is supported by single arch flying buttresses of the more daring royant gothic style specially notable for their boldness and grace when you look at this second picture you can see the arches touching the clear story window and the drama they are creating inside is fabulous there are three great rose windows which still sustains the 13th century glass the total length of the cathedral is 128 meter while the width is 43.5 there are two towers on the western facade the height of the tower is 69 meter they are divided into three floors the height of the facade is 45 meter without the towers There are three portals namely first is portal of judgment the second is portal of virgin and the third is saint anne's portal there was a spire in the cathedral which was burnt down in 2018 due to a massive fire the height of the spire was 96 meter the total surface area covered by notre dame cathedral is 5500 square meter there are 75 columns and pillars the around 12 to 14 million people visit the cathedral every year looking at the exterior of notre dame paris it is very easily recognizable as a gothic cathedral as it has slender flying buttresses gargoyles trying to horrify the evil famous rose window which is heavily decorated and ornamented it has stained glass inside unbelievable architecture and engineering can be seen at the statues on the facade to protect this city they were known as guardian of the city the church look humongous there is a spire on the on the facade which helps in connecting to the god as per the gothic philosophy hmm. unbelievable and a very a very distressful thing happened on 19 on 15th april 2019th evening there was a fire in this spire of notre dame cathedral later on in an hour the fire collapsed the spire and the roof both were destroyed 
the windows and the vaulted ceilings were damaged the rose window and the two towers on the western facade are intact the clear story windows which are near to the ape and uh, touching the uh, flying buttresses are also intact through these three pictures i have tried to show how the how the fire spread and how both the things got collapsed florence cathedral the cathedral is famous for having the largest brick dome ever constructed which was designed by the renowned italian renaissance architect filippo brunelleschi it is also known as cathedral of saint mary of flower it was built between 40 it was built between 1294 ad to 1434 ad the dome later on the lo- the dome was later on constructed which is 1420 to 1436 ad it is a world, unesco world heritage site as well as a major tourist destination in tuscany the style which it follows is italian gothic renaissance and gothic revival the uh, the main architect was filippo brunelleschi and giotto and some others florence cathedral is famous because of the three styles which it follows it follows italian gothic gothic revival and renaissance so the length of the cathedral is 153 meter while the width is 90 meter the nave is 38 meter height is 114 meter 0.5 floor area is 8300 square meter the material which is used to build the cathedral is marble and brick the cathedral of florence is built as a basilica having a wide central nave of four square bays with an aisle on either side as you can see in the plan the transept and the channel are identical polygonal plan separated by two smaller polygonal chapels the whole plan forms a latin cross the nave and the aisles are separated by wide pointed gothic arch resting on the composite piers so in florence cathedral the major and the most um, what do you call it uh, the the most um, important thing is the dome Florence Cathedral is one of the largest church in the world. It took over 140 years to complete. The most important element of Florence Cathedral is the dome. It is made up of 4 million bricks weighing 40,000 tons, almost half the size of a football field, and the height is of 10 stories. It is the largest masonry structure in the world. If it is a big deal today, just imagine what it could have been at that time when it was constructed. Brunelleschi was not an architect; he was a trained goldsmith. He has designed a a, a bronze a bronze door in front of in front of the cathedral on the tapestry, which Michael Angelo commented that it looks like a gate it, it it looks like a gate to paradise the other main features of uh, florence cathedral is its rose window and statues so it is it it cannot be said that it doesn't look like gothic because it does not have um, flying buttresses or gargoyles but then it has some peculiar uh, characteristics of gothic architecture the dome which was so praised about has a fresco painting which i have shown in this picture you can see above the nave there is a fresco painting here there is floor a geometrical pattern on the flooring the stained glass on the rose window and the windows 
the stained glass on the clear story windows and this is a sundial clock on the main door known as colossal clock it has the four fresco paintings on it domo di milano is also known as milan cathedral is one of the finest example of gothic architecture that took almost 600 years to complete the reasons behind its delay was lack of money politics and it seemed to be a never ending project it was quite ornamented there were 100 and 135 gargoyles 3 3400 statues 700 figures so it seemed to be a never ending project napoleon was the one who finished the facade milan cathedral is the second largest cathedral in the world there are 52 pillars inside the milan cathedral which is said to be one for every week so you can visit one every week near the main entrance you will see a sun dial on the floor even used to regulate the city Domo di Milano can hold around 40000 people at a time the length of the cathedral is 158 meter the width is 92 the nave width is 16.75 the height is 108 the dome height is 65.6 meter there are 135 spires the spire height is 108 the highest spire height is 108.5 the material uses brick and congolian marble The Milan Cathedral is famous for its spires. There are 135 spires with the high. The highest is of 108.5 meter. The material used in making the cathedral, uh, the cathedral is brick and marble. Tourists can visit the terrace through the uh, staircase or lift and can enjoy a spectacular view of Milan. Spires with statues on the top. detailing on the flying buttresses Immune Cathedral is the tallest completed cathedral in France reaching a height of 42.3 meter It was designated as UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1981. Immune Cathedral is in the heart of Picardy is one of the largest classic gothic church of 13th century. It is beautifully coherent with its plan three tier interior elevation and particularly fine display of sculptures on principal facade and in sound transept. Although it has lost most of its original stained glass Immune Cathedral is renowned for the quality and quantity of early 13th century gothic sculpture in the in the main west facade and south transept portal a large quantity of polychrome sculpture from later period inside the building Immune Cathedral the exterior length is 145 meter and interior is 133 the nave height is 42 and width is 14.6 so we looking at the number we can see that it is 3 is to 1 ratio to give a greater verticality and elegance to the nave in comparison to the cathedral of that period height of the aisles was 20 meter to accommodate large windows open arcades clear story windows to brighten the interiors by natural light there is a rose window of 13 meter dia a spire was erected in 1549 ad of 112 meter height 
in the exterior of amion cathedral you can visualize all the basic characteristics of gothic architecture the first is flying buttresses on south side looking at the picture they seem quite simple but they were a marvel in 13th century in comparison to other churches and cathedral of that time gothics believed in creating light and bright their nave and church which was accomplished by a series of windows in the northern flank of the nave gothic the second principle which gothic believed was verticality focusing on height as if it helps them in creating a connection with the god in emmeon cathedral it was fulfilled by a spire which was erected in 1549 ad of height 112 meter high in the south side when you see the south east picture which shows choir from the south east then the, you can you can see it there are pinnacles pointing towards heaven we can see a rose window which is of 13 meter dia a heavily ornamented window according to that time heavily carved entrances to the nave with statues on the main facade interior of amion cathedral was full of light ribbed vault stained glass heavily carved interiors with different geometrical flooring patterns clear story windows rose windows held in brightening the church the nave is identical to that of cologne cathedral there were sculptures inside the cathedral stained glass window depicting burial of archbishop exterior talks about verticality height ornamentation flying buttresses while the interior talks about light stained glass ribbed vault treasury and oculus wall act as a skeleton the walls were very slender so in amion cathedral exterior and interior you can find most of the gothic characteristics so we name them again they are we we find we did find um, flying buttress lots of uh, glass windows pinnacles a spire was erected rose window of 13 meter dia then you have ribbed vault stained glass thin walls sculptures in the interior Cologne Cathedral is the largest gothic cathedral in northern Europe and is seat of archbishop of Cologne it was declared a UNESCO world heritage site in 1996 it survived 14 bomb blast in world war 2 the entire structure took around 600 years to build the construction started in 1248 AD lasted up to 1473 ad it remained unfinished for 353 350 years the construction again started in 1842 ad to 1880 ad the restoration work is going on since 1950 the plan is in shape of latin cross the cologne cathedral closely resembles that of amion cathedral in terms of ground floor plan style width to height proportion of the central nave the cathedral covers almost 8000 square meter can accommodate around 20000 people at a time the length of the cathedral is 144.5 meter while the width is 86.25 the cross nave is 86 meter the, there are two spires the height of the spire is 157 meter there are 11 bells it is said that the northern spire is 7 cm higher than the southern spire on your right you can see there is a bird eye view which shows the cruciform plan of cologne cathedral 
if we talk about exterior particularly from a distance the building is dominated by its youth spires which are entirely germanic in nature being open work like other european cathedrals on your left you see a a picture which has series of flying buttresses pinnacles of medieval east end the center picture is of a spire with oculus the right hand picture is a man standing in front of not tower for scale and proportion looking at the picture we can imagine the height of spires flying buttresses and the tower of cologne cathedral if we talk about beautiful interiors there is a nave with beautifully constructed rib vaults leading to the golden arch light entering through the clear story windows in the second picture we can see the interior of the medieval east end showing the extreme height there is a choir surrounded by 13th and 14th century artwork and in the last picture you can see stained glass which shows some floral patterns there is a simple assignment for this week which is you need to answer the gothic why the gothic cathedrals were sensitive to light and used a system to allow the external light to enter in the main hall of the church that created mysterious interiors you can use sketches to explain this system you can go through this uh, this ppt again there is a ppt sent by me last week which explains the basic characteristics of gothic you can go through it there are some youtube links in that ppt and even in this ppt so there are a good reference material for you please do good and submit your assignment on time the the deadline for this assignment is today 5:30 pm once we are done with this class you will be submitting in an hour so that you don't keep it for long if I, if i give you a week you will take more time so let's just go through this fatafat and then let's get it done these are the youtube links i was talking about and i these are the references i was talking about i have mentioned some of them here so that you this is for your benefit you can please call me drop me a mail or ping me on whatsapp google classroom i am there please don't delay your assignment complete them on time see you next week we are going to talk up we are going to discuss renaissance don't miss your lecture next week on the same time stay home stay healthy thank you